Hey, what's up, Rock Harbor? We just closed out our series from this day forward with staying pure. You know, we're getting a little more serious now. The last couple of weeks, we talked about having fun, talked about staying together, but now it's getting per personal because we're talking about purity. And I want to encourage you, our natural instinct during stuff like this is to be quiet, to be closed off. Um, but I want to encourage you that within your group today to realize who you're with. If you're like me, you've realized that you're in a group of people who are really uh, struggling with a lot of the same things that you are. So don't forget who we are. We're Rock Harbor Church and we're real stinking people. Did you know the lack of purity within marriages is the number one leading cause of divorce? You know, it's those decisions that we make in our singleness. For those of you who are single, it's the decisions you're making right now with your purity um, that are going to determine a lot of the struggles that you're going to have within your marriage later. I want to ask you a couple of questions to think about. If I were to ask you, do you plan on struggling with an addiction to pornography? Do you plan on having an affair later within your marriage? No, the answer should be a resounding no, right? But if we aren't aggressive and vigilant with our purity right now, those are the things we're going to find ourselves trapped in later. You know, this weekend, Scott talked about um, outward purity and inward purity. You know, outward being the decisions that we make, um, the things that we do, the things that we can find ourselves trapped in because of those decisions. And if I could just share a little bit about my story with you. I remember it was my first year in marriage, our Amber and I's first year. Um, I was working at Red Robin serving tables and I got a call um, from Amber and she was on the other end of the line. She was distraught. She was crying. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? And she went on to tell me that she found some things on our computer um, that revealed that I had an issue with pornography. Um, it ended up coming out that I was addicted to pornography, that a lot of the decisions that I made before we were married, I brought all that garbage into our marriage with me. It was those outward decisions um, that I made that were really causing issues. And you know, the worst part about it is that Amber was pregnant. And so she was already dealing with, um, you know, these insecurities of having a changing body. And this became a really tough time within our marriage. And it was really exactly what I needed um, in order to start the process of, of, of purity, um, of making those right decisions within my marriage. One of the things that Scott shared on Sunday that really resonated with me was that you don't build a life of purity on a foundation of sin. And see, I had this foundation of sin that I brought into my marriage. It was because of those decisions that I made growing up, those decisions I made with my purity, um, that we were having to deal with this within our marriage, that my wife was having to deal with a husband who was addicted to pornography. The next thing that Scott talked about was inward purity. That's the condition of the heart. You know, we can say all day long that we're going to beat this battle. We're going to beat this temptation. We're going to beat this struggle with pornography. But what happens is we fail every time because we can't beat those temptations alone. I want to read to you a verse from Psalms 119, a couple verses. 119, 9 through 11. It says, how can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart, I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I've stored up your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. And that's what it's about. It's about storing up God's word in our heart. That as we grow closer to God, as we grow closer to Jesus, we grow further away from those things. We, in fact, want to flee from those things. Those things now, they disgust me because I know what they'll do to me and I know what they'll do to my marriage. And it's not worth it. I have a question for you guys to discuss within your groups as you jump into that discussion. What are some of those impurities that try to squeeze their way into your relationship, to your marriage? What are some of those things that maybe you struggle with personally um, that could have an effect on the purity within your relationships? Talk about that now. And remember, we're Rock Harbor, real stinking people. So be transparent.